What's up, good people of the internet, and welcome back. Let's talk about some video games. I am your boy, Chris P, and I have to start wearing something different in these because I'm in the same black hoodie every day, it seems, but that's just what I wear. Doesn't matter. That's not what we're here for. In an updated SEC filing, information has been provided that Activision CEO Bobby Kotick will be reducing his annual salary by 50% in 2021, and his annual bonus will be reduced by 50% in 2021 and 2022, which is a potential reduction of $1.75 million for each year. This comes after Activision Blizzard extended Codex employment through March 31st, 2023. Per the filing, the 50% salary cut is to align Bobby Kotick with the 25th percentile of CEO positions of similar companies, and Bobby's annual bonus was based on the median of annual CEOs in similar companies. So where does the salary pay cut take Mr. Bobby K? After his 15% pay cut in 2020 and a 50% pay cut in 2021, Bobby's salary is down from $1.75 million to $875K. In the grand scheme of things, that's a shit ton of money. I'm not saying that it isn't, but the market says that's what someone in his position is supposed to be paid, and this is towards the lower end. So who am I to say anything about that? I'm just a guy on the internet with a funny accent that likes talking about video games. Activision has been under a lot of heat, and in my opinion, it's it's not unwarranted. The rush of layoffs in 2020, and then give or take a month ago, there were more layoffs, and a lot of people reported that they were just completely out of the blue. No one even got a heads up. And out of those layoffs, it's been reported that about 50 came from the live event kind of sector of the company, which is mind-boggling to me, knowing that it takes a Call of Duty League team $25 million to even step foot in the league. In an interview with GamesBeat just yesterday, Bobby Kotick said there are about 2,500 openings for positions at Activision. So the big strategic considerations for me and for the leadership are how do we make sure that we're prioritizing our opportunities and then how do we make sure that we have that pipeline of talent. And so for us to be able to meet the production demands that we have right now, I think there are probably something like 2,500 open positions. There are always going to be, um, you know, we have a natural attrition rate and then we have, you know, performance management where, you know, people are being encouraged to find other opportunities. It's confusing to think that there are all these positions open yet layoffs were necessary. And I'm not saying Activision is in the clear, not by any means. And I'm not asking you guys to forget. All I'm saying is this is a step in the right direction. Curious what you guys think. Until next time.